You know, when it comes to the topic of happiness, one of the things that sort of is a thief of our own happiness is comparing ourselves to others. You know, whether you're comparing yourself to someone and coming up short, or you're comparing yourself to someone and you uh, are smug about being better than them, either way, it doesn't make you feel good. And when you don't feel good, it's your inner guide telling you, if you stay focused where you're focused, you are not going to like the results. Hi Ho Silver here with this week's happiness hack. So how does comparison work and how does it rob you of your happiness? Well, it's really about how you talk to yourself because when you say things to yourself like, oh, you know, she's better than me or she's getting more than I am or I'm working harder than she is, uh, any of that, that again, robs you of your own happiness and because you get more of what you focus on, part of what happens when you compare yourself to others is that you are destined to attract people around you who agree with your negative comparison. And you don't want that at all. That's completely opposite. So look and see what buttons get pushed when you compare yourself to others and look to see how you can diffuse them. I'll give you an example. I have a really good friend of mine who I love whose house looks like she was robbed <laughs> and it bothers her. Now, if it didn't bother her, who cares? You know, you can live however you want to, um, but it does really bother her. And so she's always comparing herself to other people who have neat homes or she'll go through, you know, some magazine where she looks at these beautiful layouts and uh, feels bad about herself. And so she has a couple of choices here. She can just accept that this is how she is and it's okay and live with that and be happy. Or she can clean up the house. <laughs> and those are really the two, the two things. But imagine, and we all have something like this. Imagine that something bugs you that much and yet you, it's a resentment that you have and you not only, um, plant it in rich soil, but you feed it miracle grow so it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's not what you want to do. That's that that's what gets accomplished when you pay so much attention to it. And so if something's bugging you that much, you got to diffuse that button. And you know how to diffuse it. Nobody else can tell you, but it's important that you do it because it's standing in the way of your being happier. And you deserve to be happy. And it's possible. Bye for now.